everybody, this is Praxis and this is Maria and a friend Colleen are here. They're helping me today. Maria is one of my friends back from when I was doing a lot of production work, uh, cinematography and all that kind of stuff. She was a producer and we had a lot of great times doing that. I'm sorry, you just hit your it elbow. Didn't hurt. It okay, didn't hurt. Okay, she missed. Uh, and the funny ball. they've been here all day today. They started upstairs helping me out a lot with the, the roof trusses. Those are like the, you know, things that looks like a letter A at the top. I got it all set out in a beautiful template this morning. I'll show you guys that uh, tomorrow we'll go up there. But they helped uh, cutting out a bunch of those pieces so it's all ready to kind of assemble later on. And uh, right now we're working on a little bit of wall boards and Colleen has been pulling up these. How heavy do you think those are, Colleen? How heavy? Yeah, she's... 6,000 yeah. <laughs> There are these two by eight boards, and can you illustrate what's, what you have to do? Yes. All right. Okay. She's going to try to do it over here. Oh, uh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, go for it. Um, so, yeah, it's all upper body strength. I, it's difficult for me, and I'm a really beefy guy, so I figured that it was, it was clearly beyond Colleen's ability, but she's just been ripping it up, taking care of all that. I guess she's really good at uh, pull-ups and everything. So, uh, yeah, she's been a, a, just a huge help with that. that. There's a huge pile of lumber that now I don't have to deal with tomorrow, which I'm really happy about. Uh, the thing I want to share with you today was something I was just sharing with Maria uh, in regards to nailing on the outside. I was kind of standing, pu uh, pushing down on a board, and uh, there was a nail that she couldn't get at because I was in her way, and I couldn't get at because I was like holding on to the side of the building. I only had one hand free, and I want to show you guys this uh, technique of starting a nail. Uh, not necessarily finishing it this way, but starting a nail if you only have one hand free. You can get, take the nail, maybe it's in your mouth, and I know these are galvanized nails, so that technically I'm putting poison in my mouth right now, but you know, you gotta break some eggs. Right like that, and ooh. you get it so that the, the head side is right up flat against the hammer, and then with one hand, now let's adjust it a little bit, it's, it's a little awkward. How do I usually do it? Oh yeah, yeah, just like that. So you get the, the head right up against the hammer, and then with one hand, you can get it started, and then you can tap it in with the other hand. So you can, if you're hanging on, you can get it going, and then you can hammer it in the rest of the way. I'm not actually going to put that nail in there, because that is, that's just, I just put a nail through my bathroom wall. But just a quick tip, if you're ever one hand free. That's it. Thanks for watching.